Good morning guys and girls and welcome back to another video and today is Optimize Dire Maul. Well, now just stick around and enjoy the video. Right, so Dire Maul is a very relatively easy to know instance and pretty much what you're going to be wanting to do is by having a alchemist on your side when you're doing this run. Obviously you can do this without an alchemist as you can just send the mats over to that alchemist but preferably I prefer to have my alchemist actually doing the runs. Now what you're going to be wanting to do is as soon as you enter the instance you're going to be wanting to jump down into the bottom part of Dire Maul, rounding up all of the thistle mobs and all of the like herby ones. Basically round them all up into the first part and burn them all down and then once they're all dead you'll be able to loot loads of the old world materials. Uh, depending on the old world herbs I recommend that you check the auction house as you can mill them for the old world pigments which you can use for glyphs and your inscription and all that jazz. Uh, I did say alchemy but I'm going to correct myself right now that is uh, inscription for the milling so uh, you're going to need an inscriber not an alchemist but you can use an alchemist for some of the old world potions which is like the invisibility ones and the water breathing ones as they do sell quite well still on the auction house. That being the case some of the old world herbs actually sell for a lot of gold just stand alone on their own so be aware of double checking your auction houses before actually milling them because you could be milling for less gold and more time spent milling on stuff that you're going to or that you could sell for a lot more uh, will result in less gold per hour and a waste of your time so please take that little bit of time just to double check your auction house and make sure that your items can be actually profitable when milled. Along with that the actual Nat Paggle's Guide to Extreme Angling actually still spawns in this dungeon and it, and it is located where you actually drop down. Now obviously you do see them quite like two of them dotted around from this farm they do still sell even though Legion is over and pretty much you you can still sell them on the auction house for a fair bit of gold as some people still are collectors and some collectors do not want to go out of their way and they've got 10 ton of money so they want to spend it on just getting the actual like skins for their Ashbringer but that being the case guys, that was Dire Maul optimised for the week. Hope you like now I hope you like this video guys, and if you want to see more like this, please feel free to give this video a like. And as always, have an awesome day guys. Yeah.